Ali Shabab, welcome to part 25. In the previous part, we wrote tests for general task and edit task, and as I have promised, we will now continue with get tasks. And so let's start. Let's write a new test class. TypeScript, let's say get tasks dot test okay 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 good hasanan now let's just copy some stuff from here now we will say describe unit tests for get tasks composable okay 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 now let's define our test And now we will say when fetch tasks and get gosh when get task is called then expect response to be equal to mock fetch response fetch response mm -hmm. again a sync okay mm -hmm. this is now the a sunshine case we are testing and now we will do our uh, assign because we need the web service to call get tasks and here we'll say this is async uh, Sorry, this needs to be around, uh, wrapped by parentheses, and now here there are curly braces. Here we say data mock fetch response. Semicolon at the end, and now we are good. Now we act. Oh, sorry, we still need to assign. Mm -hmm. But now we will, I would say now let's go to, we can copy the next thing. Go to pages, task overview page, scroll up. Basically we can copy all of this and looks good and now we can use now we can act and we can say await fetch tasks and we can say all tasks will keep this empty And oh gosh, I found them. Um, uh, okay, uh, okay. I have to add to just adjust something in the background. Okay, 
Now we can expect and as our tests, uh, I mean we can start with the loading part. Again, expect is loading dot value to be false, no loading here. Duplicate this line and just use this for this network error. And now the most interesting part, we expect that we have tasks. Oh my gosh. Just duplicate this line to avoid some errors. And now we have, to, we will, what we're expecting, we have tasks that they are not to be, to equal to equal mock fetch response. Okay, this is now our sunshine case. Now I, show, I will show you something. Let's, uh, because, wait a second. Okay, uh, package JSON. As you can see, we have here test colon unit. We can use this. Like we call dev with p, p and pm dev. We can call test colon unit. Let's do this. Clear. Let's say p and pm test. Not uh, test colon unit and the test passed nice as you can see we have here an overview of the things we are testing tests okay okay passed very good but now as you can see this is still waiting for changes so when we write another test it will automatically rerun so let's do this okay sunshine case is done now what we want to do uh, we want we will write a test for the not sanction case. I mean for the error case. Now let's 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 close this parenthesis semicolon. Uh, wait. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. This call. Then expect what we're expecting now, network error. Expect error case. Just make it short and simple. And we can copy again some things like just assign. Basically, we can copy this part, not create task. As you can think, it's get tasks. But yeah, the rest stays the same. Here we have our assign. Now we want to act. Let's, are we? Still need to this part, and now we can, yeah, now we can act. Now we can act, and now we can expect. Much copy is loading this is false, but this is a network error, so this should be true. And this line here, we have to use again axios error dot value should be to equal our actual error. 
and again we can use expect and say actual error dot message to be uh, should be error message semicolon at the end and that's good and now in our terminal as you can see it automatically reruns and now test files and only checks the adapter tests uh, as you can see uh, it's great so you don't have to always with um, manually type npx vtest run if you want con if you're writing continuous unit test you just can use pnpm test colon uh, test colon unit okay that's good and uh, now the last test that is missing would be to remove task where it is here it is but remove task as you can see okay we have uh, we have this should be gone uh, this will be also very very similar to our written test and edit task and generate task so I would say just look at the tests in here so for generate task and edit task and write uh, test happy case for remove task and um, uh, failure case, case for remove task uh, pause the video right now and after you are done re resume to the video I will go through the test case for remove task see you in a second okay I hope you had time and tried to write tests on your own and now we're going through how to write tests together for remove task as you can see create a new class a new file uh, here again description don't forget always before all and after all just as you can see uh, where is it where is it here is it just defined the part in here and uh, the only special thing is we have to also use fetch task we can mock it and we have to pass for fetch task a task type like open or close and i just chose open okay mm, that's good that's good and uh, now we're writing the test the web service here we have our assign We also have a sign here above. And the sign continues here. Then we have our act where we call the actual composable with all the arguments it needs. And now, just one more thing this task type thing. This should be task type. Where is it? In our details, task state. Sorry, task state dot open. Uh, now it says okay. We have to use it other ways. I don't know why there is no to to string option here in typescript but okay it's okay okay like in kotlin okay here we have our task state open or closed it's now open and uh, now we say what we say okay we act now here remove task with all the argument it needs now we say expect we expect is loading false, we expect is network error false, fetch task is have to be cancelled. And then we have the error case. Um, we have the error case. Uh, like here, network error, the error message, actual error, valid task return this actual error. Here our sign again. Here again 
when we call it the uh, act. And now we expect here things. So basically very much similar to the generate and edit task. And as you can see, all of these tests all went through successfully. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I would say we are done now for all the testing part. And next time I will go through with you in more detail in package.json all the shortcut short uh, cut commands and then afterwards we will see how to write a docker file and deploy the uh, the Futify application that's it so basically two more videos and we're halas then we are done with the tutorial series i hope you liked it so far so stay tuned for the last two videos and See you soon. Ila lekaya shabab.